And hello, everyone. This is from Xiamen University, Malaysia. And today we are going to give you an introduction of the carbon nanofiber. So I am Yi Rong, and my teammates are Yan Tong and Lu Yao. So first, let me give you an introduction of this material. The carbon nanofiber is a kind of fibrous carbon material with a thickness less than one micrometer and a carbon content which can be over 90%. So it has several structures, including the platelet, herringbone, and spiral. But these different structures can be applied in different aspects. From the graph, we can find several physical properties of this material. We have found that it has a very strong stiffness and a high electricity electrical conductivity as well as the thermal conductivity. So these excellent properties make it widely used in many specific fields, such as the water treatment, sensing, tissue engineering, and drug delivery. So how to produce this kind of material? Uh, in general, there are many methods, but the CVD method, which is chemical vapor deposition, can be the most commonly used one, because this method is easy to scale up the production industry. So here we will use an MPCVD vector to explain. A film or substrate that is coated with the catalyst particles will be placed in the center of the furnace chamber. And after this, the reactant gases, which include hydrogen carbon, hydrogen, and inert gas will be introduced to the chamber. So by the catalytic decomposition of carbon-containing gases over those metals, the dissolved carbon atoms will nucleate in catalyst surface, and then the carbon nanofiber can start to grow. So by maintaining the reaction condition for a certain time, we can get the carbon nanofibers. And here we use the raw material as hydrocarbon, hydrogen, and inner gas. And the temperature is set to be 500 to 1000 degrees Celsius. The pressure is 0 0.1 millibar. The catalyst can be the copper, nickel, alloy, or other metals. So the since this condition are closely related to the formation of carbon nanofibers, first, the reaction temperature is considerably low compared to the other method. And with this temperature, the carbon hydrogen can be uh, absorbed by the upper surface of the catalyst and then decompose to the carbon atoms. And then these carbon atoms can diffuse into the catalyst particles and then the carbon nanofibers can be formed. As for inner gas, it is used to facilitate the adequate gas reaction uh, and by continu continuously blowing those raw materials into the reaction chamber. And as for catalyst, by lowering nickel with copper, the electronic and the geometric structures can be changed, which can promote the growth speed of the carbon nanofibers. So this is all my part, and now I will move my time to Lu Yao. Okay, thank you, Iro. Now we are going to see the application of nanofiber. Carbon nanofiber are widely used in specific fields due to its excellent properties. First, let's see the biomedical. For drug carrier, CNF has two main advantages. First, carbon nanofiber have high specific surface area. The high surface to volume ratio of carbon nanofiber provides more space for cell adhesion than conventional fibers. Second, carbon nanofiber have high porosity. The high porosity provides sufficient adjustment space for cells and a convenient channel for the excretion for nutrient and metabolic waste. Let's go on to the right part. The goal of tissue engineering is to replace the disease or damaged tissue with biologic substitute that can restore and maintain normal function. CNF has been proved to have a huge application potential in tissue for the engineering of mechanical stability and biological function. Apart from biomedical, CNF also have widely used in sensor field. The conductivity of CNF composite material change reversible, reversibly with reversible change of external conditions. For a long time, these carbon-based material are used being as electron chemical biosensor for gas, pressure, and virus distinct biological molecules. 
due to the disorder carbon structure of electron spawn CNF, it can provide more active sites and stronger electrochemical activity, reducing the consumption of pressure metal catalyst and improve their service life. In these days, CNF in biomedical have a great breakthrough. Here are three cases. When this material and technique are better used in medical, quite a few human aliens will no longer be an unsolved matter. Recent study proved that modification can be made when these carbon nanofiber are combined with different alloys. This will make a more accurate sensor and thereby to mod remodel and enhance the process. Due to the overlapping of electron spawn CNF, the contact resistance is large, which will limit the charge transfer. This is the dilemma for the CNF in fuel cells. However, with the introduction of 3D structure combined with CNF, this problem will be solved. Some strategies, such as building a 3D network structure, has been adopted to improve the conductivity and obtain more active sites. This is on my part. I will pass my time to Yan Tong. And I will go on with the challenges and recommendations. Even though great progress ha have, has been made in the research of carbon nanofibers, there are still challenges existing in the fields below. Modeling and simulation, synthesis and scaling, structural materials. In modeling and simulation, limited modeling capabilities decelerate the simulating of CNF properties in bulk form. Advances in the CNF manufacturing enterprise depend on the enabling infrastructure of simulation and models validated by experiment. So a better understanding of the interactions of individual particle and databases for matching catalysts to the synthesis of specific types of CNFs are needed. Secondly, synthesis and scaling are still facing ongoing problems such as poor yield, slow protection rate, unacceptable variations in quality, and a lack of real-time process control. To overcome these challenges, a production baseline for the highest volume of CNFs that can be produced needs to be built. CNF growth mechanism needs to be further studied, and the closed loop process control of CNF production is also required to guarantee the quality of CNF. Thirdly, limited structural enhancements for bulk CNF or CNF based composites restrict the development of CNFs in structural material. So build materials property databases to enable structural design with these materials and make certification process more efficient to speed up high-end technology application. And last but not least, we need to be aware of the potential health and safety concerns associated with nanomaterials. And that's all from our group, and thanks for watching.